Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Chairman, thank you very much. Um, already, I wanted to make it very short, and I've been told to make it very short, so I'll be very short and brief. Uh, my name is Gordon Yabua, as uh, was mentioned by the chairman. Uh, my topic is some experiences after graduation from uh, HFT, this university. And uh, I will just be brief, and actually I picked just some few projects uh, and some experiences uh, I've gone through, and I want you to listen to some brief of uh, what I have. I'll go through a background, experiences at Transvaal, uh, experiences at Rudan, experiences at UAM, and make some conclusions and recommendations. Um, so, the background, uh, we were directed that uh, we should try and relate uh, our uh, presentations to the MDGs, and I think we've all heard about the eight goals already. But the relevance, in my view, is that uh, in the relevance of the presentation to the MDGs, in my view, uh, is uh, human resource development. Of course, because uh, I came here to study, I think uh, in that sense the, uh, the university is doing well in uh, developing human resource. Mm -hmm. And also being a, 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 a businessman now, I would say that also uh, is related to global partnership for development. That is the uh, goal, one of the goals. I think goal eight or so, did we come here? Um, so the background. Um, I graduated from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology uh, somewhere around 2000 and then did my research assistant as a national service person in this university and then from there I had the opportunity to come here and study um, uh, geoinformatics and photogrammetry and then also software technology. Um, from there actually um, I had the opportunity also to uh, work in Transvaal International, it's a, a company based in Munich. Uh, actually the, the way I got there uh, was quite interesting. I remember uh, applying exactly 50 applications to some companies in Germany just to get a, a, a what do you call it, diploma by master thesis uh, uh, offer from a company. I wanted really to do my master thesis in a company, a German company, or perhaps I considered Europe, United States, and then my own country. So actually the applications were even more than 50, but in Germany uh, I did 50. And out of all of these uh, applications, I got one, and that is this company. And it was very interesting. When I went there, I was expecting uh, some kind of you know, strict interview. I went there. And luckily for me, I think uh, I took the uh, German course very seriously. So I went there, and uh, I was quite jovial, started uh, good in Morgan, and continued like that, and we were very happy. And then all of a sudden, I just said, when do you want to start? <laughs> So that was it. And then I did my master thesis there. Uh, that actually was uh, in uh, the second degree, uh, software technology. And then afterwards, uh, they employed me there for almost a year. And then uh, I will share with you some of the few things I did there. So from there, I went to, back to Ghana. That was around 2005. To Rudan, Nigeria Limited, a private company. There too, uh, actually, that's the place where I had most of my managerial skills. Uh, so I'll share a little with you there. So whilst there, I'm still there now, but uh, whilst there, I also had the opportunity to lecture in IT infrastructure and strategy in this university. Uh, it's based in Germany. It's a German uh, university, somewhere, Erdin or so. But they, have, uh, they are also business guys. They've extended a campus in Ghana. So uh, when I got to know, uh, I applied and they gave me the opportunity to study there to lecture this one. So uh, at Transvaal, let me talk a little bit about the company. It was founded in 1995 with the aim of implementing scientific uh, innovations in the field of traffic engineering and traffic planning in practice. <laughs> and uh, the first project I did there was called uh, Transbase Map. And this was actually my master thesis for the software uh, technology program. And it's basically a uh, uh, was designed as an application to view traffic data from 
an SQL database using geographic information system component, that's map objects, uh, with a newly developed front end based on uh, Microsoft Access. And uh, like you know, you, you may have known already, I use Visual Basic for applications. And I remember <laughs> Professor Shoda uh, uh, teaching us uh, VBA, and it was very useful uh, uh, in this project. And I think uh, um, my supervisor, too, Professor Bear, did very well, actually visited me there. And uh, my managing director was very, very happy and was surprised somehow. <laughs> uh, but then it helped a lot in uh, boosting my confidence. There too, uh, the second project I did after this, they employed me, so I went into research into Java, Java, uh, uh, Java API. But then it was basically uh, some kind of interfaces for traffic uh, uh, systems. So basically what I want to say is, uh, for instance, uh, this is one um, you can see here. This is uh, an assignment, uh, for instance, given by um, the traffic engineer, who is also sort of Java illiterate. So uh, he will have a, a, a schematic diagram, a sketch like this, either on a paper or, in this case, uh, Microsoft Word. And then my task is to transfer that into that. And at the end, I have some few classes which they insert in the main application. And then if they want to uh, use that purpose, in this case, it's a time series graph, and they know what they want to do, I'm just to provide that. So when uh, I do that, then they integrate in the system. Uh, the third and the last project I did before going to Ghana actually was uh, called Display Engine or Variable Message Sign. And it was purely a combination of XML, SVG, and Java. And this one, you can see here, I'm trying to point an arrow here. And my task was just to display this kind of blue uh, uh, board or a signboard. As you can see along the road, you, when you're driving, these signs always direct you uh, or give you some message as to how you should behave on the road. And so um, they had ev everything, all the files in uh, XML, but then how to display it. Actually, it is a bigger project called uh, Traffic Vision or MobiNet, something like that in uh, Munich. So they have this is a big computer center and they wanted to display that. So they give me the files, or I read the files, and I'm to display some kind of intelligence or an engine that can interpret those files and display uh, this board like this uh, on the screen. And uh, you can see that they have these arrows. Initially, I thought when I, uh, I go around uh, or walk around the city, I thought that uh, actually the balls there were fixed with the text and then the arrows. Not knowing that often they have, they call it some prisons, which rotates and at times changes the text or the arrows as and when it's needed. So somebody at the computer center actually uh, has to configure or enter something here or there or there, I don't know. And then those will reflect here. So basically that was it. And then I had to go back. But then, then maybe what I want to add to it is that uh, uh, the difficulty for foreigners often is having, uh, getting the, uh, they call it, often to 